This is the Haidar Mosque. It's the largest mosque in Azerbaijan and in the entire Caucasus. It was built just five years ago, but it's already become a symbol of peace, tolerance and unity. Both Sunni and Shia Muslims pray together here every Friday. Our mosque, the Haidar Mosque, is unique. Everyone here is equal. There is no difference, Sunni or Shia. I'm a Shia Muslim. That's my choice. But we also have Sunni Muslims in Azerbaijan and we see them as our brothers. This is our lifestyle. It's always been and always will be. Unlike other countries, there is stability in our country. Sectarian conflicts between Sunni and Shia Muslims happen in many countries in the Middle East. Both Arif and Rufar are a good example of solidarity between Sunni and Shias. Azerbaijan is an overwhelmingly Muslim country. Shia Muslims make up the majority, while less than 15% are Sunni. However, here, members of both sects have lived together in harmony for centuries. I've been the sheikh of all the Caucasus for about 40 years, and there was never a Sunni-Shia problem in Azerbaijan during these years. Azerbaijan offers the whole world a new and modern model of peace and brotherhood. Even though I'm a sheikh, I've provided financial assistance to build churches and synagogues in Azerbaijan. We always go to churches and synagogues, and they come to our mosques. Azerbaijan is a multicultural and multi-religious country with a secular constitution. The country is situated at the crossroads of cultures and civilizations. And there's not only religious tolerance towards Sunni and Shia Muslims, but also towards Jews and Christians. Azerbaijan also has a small Jewish community. There are six synagogues in Azerbaijan's capital and others in the cities of Guba and Oz. And the religious and cultural tradition of ethnic Jews is respected here by most people. There are 31 non-Muslim religious communities in Azerbaijan. At the same time, there are distinct religious denominations, Muslims, Christians, Catholics and other beliefs. Each year, the state budget allocates funds for them. It also provides state financial assistance to both Muslim communities and non-Muslim communities. The lives of Christians in Azerbaijan are very similar to the lives of Muslims and Jews. Leaders of Azerbaijan's Russian Orthodox community say everyone is treated equally under the nation's law. And here is evidence that Christians, Jews, Shia and Sunni Muslims can all live and pray together peacefully. Yasin Eken, TRT World, Baku. Azerbaijan.